Hey guys, how's it going? Manny Coates here with Helium 10 and today we're going to be talking about Magnet. Okay, Magnet 2. It's our super powerful reverse Amazon tool. Not reverse ASIN, that's Cerebro. Reverse ASIN is for one keyword, or sorry, one ASIN. I uh, get you a lot of keywords on the ASIN. Magnet goes out to all the ASINs and pulls and keywords. Uh, most powerful keyword tool on the market right now. But let me show you uh, this particular filter. We're going to talk about show phrases that contain. So I did a keyword search for candles and I got over here 3,700 results. You can see on the right hand side. Now let's just say that I want to narrow this down to only words that have a uh, candle in it, right? So I hit candle or yeah, candles and I hit all. We'll make sure it says all and then I hit apply. Now it's going to take this 3,700 and it's going to drop it down to 1,383 uh, results. That's 1,383 actual keyword phrases that have the word candles in it, right? Pretty cool. Now let's just say that I want um, the word uh, pillar candles and I hit apply, you're going to see this number drop even further. It's down to 65. So we got pillar candle, pillar candles, three by six ivory and so forth, right? So everything has the word uh, pillar candles as a phrase. Now, if I use any, any means if I want to use more than one keyword. So let's just say that um, I want pillar candles. Actually, no, let's put a comma in here. If I put a comma, now it's going to, there's two different keywords right here, pillar and candles. Um, it's going to look for anything that says, um, if I hit, click any, anything that has the word either pillar or the word candles. Now watch this number over here, 65. It's going to now go up to 1,408 because it's found 1,400 different keywords that have the word, that have either the word pillar or candles or both. Now if I click all, now it's going to find only those phrases that have the word pillar and candles in it. Okay, hit apply and we'll see it drops down to 80. Okay, and I could add other words to here. I could put the word, let's say white. Okay, now it's got to find uh, keyword phrases that have all three of these and it's found zero. Now, if I select any, it's going to find any of these three. I hit apply and it found 1,429. Now, obviously the word white is not in there. We just saw that, um, but it's finding, it's found 1,400 that have the word pillar or candle. So it's super powerful guys using the any or the all to find specific things. I might want to find uh, anything that has the word scented and the word candle, plural or singular, right? And, and I want all of those and I hit apply and then it's going to go out and it's going to find uh, 72 keyword phrases within this that have the word scented and the word candle. And it's not going to be an exact phrase. It could be um, candle and then scented. Either it, it could go both ways. Okay. So really powerful guys use this show phrase. Uh, feature in conjunction with the word count. Um, and uh, I'm going to talk in another video about exclude phrases and how that works. All right, take care, everybody.